guests, Aaron, have a podcast that's gaining popularity during the Halloween season. It's called Otherworld. And you may have seen a story about the podcast recently in the Washington Post. I read it uh -huh. and was like, you know what? We need to have them on. Not now, but right now on the show because uh, so many people are talking about it. Now, this show features people sharing their stories of supernatural experiences. Take a look at this. Talking about this figure that he saw and uh, that is black and uh, no distinguishable shape to it. And I had these dreams throughout my life where this figure would basically come closer and closer to me. And I knew by the next dream I had that I would eventually be in contact with this, this entity, this thing. I think we we're both in tears at that point because it was just so intense for both of us. It's intense just watching it. <laughs> right. It's hosted by LA director Jack Wagner, who interviews and investigates to uncover the mysteries presented in each episode. And he joins us now live to talk all about the podcast, the paranormal, and more. Good morning. How's it going, guys? Oh, we Thanks are for having great. Me. Good to have you here on Lion Lunch Hour. Uh, I have to ask you, though, uh, your podcast, I mean, it's top 30, Spotify, iTunes. Why do you think it has resonated in such a, a huge way, particularly among the younger audiences? I think, you know, I approach this stuff as real stories. Like all of the stories that I put on the podcast are from actual people that are I mean, in my opinion, telling the truth, um, something that really happened to them, I don't put on anything that I think is like a tall tale, you know? So I've always been interested in this stuff. And I, every time I hear a spooky story, I have more questions after. And that's kind of just what I'm trying to do with this show is keep asking the questions after the story normally ends, if that makes sense. I love your approach and I think it really gives these otherworldly stories the platform that they deserve because you watch some of these other shows and it's more for shock value and for you, you're really doing the research. So what would you say was your biggest takeaway from hearing all these quote unquote unbelievable stories? I mean, I just, what I tell people is like, something's going on. Um, the one thing you can't do for is write it all off. I mean, I hear so many of these. It's it's the volume that kind of alarms me, if that makes sense, like the amount of people. Even after the podcast came out, and especially after that article you referenced came out, like a lot of people in my life approached me saying that they've experienced something that was on my podcast, like family, friends, kind of the people that like you wouldn't expect. Let's just say it's going to be a really interesting Thanksgiving dinner eventually. I feel like there's a lot of people that come up to me and all of a sudden want to talk to me about stuff that they've never told anybody before. So I guess my main takeaway is that there's a lot of things out there that people don't talk about. And as soon as somebody starts taking it seriously, they're all of a sudden interested in talking. So Oh my gosh, you it should have intense. seen me nodding, Jack. I was yes. like, I probably need to be on one of his episodes <laughs> right? because I've certainly, I had some experiences. I'm like, oh, there's more out there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just wait. I mean, yeah, I, you said uh, you said it's intense. The show's intense. I imagine hosting it. <laughs> like, I was no. like, I I imagine what is imagine. it like for you? And also, have you had any supernatural or strange encounters? I've had some. Um, my family lived in a house that was kind of haunted. We definitely thought it was, but not for super long. But thankfully, nothing bad myself. And I'm trying to keep it that way <laughs> for as long as I can. Um, you know, my fiance is very supportive of this project, but I do think that she's probably a little nervous <laughs> as I go deeper into things. Um, I recorded last night, I recorded the first story that ever really scared me. And um, like none of them have ever really scared me. Last night was the first one that ever actually like, like I went to a bar after to get a strong drink. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Just we'll have to watch clear my head. And listen to that podcast. I know, I'm, that. I'm sorry. I I'm not trying to scare the, the wonderful people of DC, but <laughs> it's, um, it's interesting, you know, and it's, it's just funny because I've, I've always tried to take this seriously and, um, you know, talk to people who are telling me something that really happened to them. And it's, it's funny when you like kind of look around and realize like a lot of shows out there just aren't doing that, you know? And then here I am, I'm like, oh crap. Like, <laughs> am, I, <laughs> am I the only one that has to, you know, talk to these people that are seeing these terrifying things? I don't know. Oh. It's, it's spooky. 
Yeah, it could, I mean, you probably could see it growing, too. I know it's a podcast now, but mm -hmm. can you en envision it as being a show or a series on television down the line? That's, that's what I'd like. And I, you know, I think it would be really cool to try to bring on people that could sort of figure this out, stuff out because I think that maybe one day we'll understand it and it won't be that scary anymore, if that makes sense. That's like a maybe really good ending note, yeah. I agree, and just talk yeah. about it, for right. sure. Well, Jack, thanks so much uh, for joining us. I find it incredibly intriguing. I'm glad you're working on it. And just Thank a reminder, you, so much you for can having me. listen, absolutely, you can listen to Other World, hosted by Jack Wagner on Major Stream.